Hey guys, Bishmi back again with my game two battle of my week six matchup in the Pokemon World Domination Draft Tournament. Um, we just won game one against Sunny, captain of the Chicago Cherry Blossoms. And um, we did win 3 0. He has the Cloyster, um, Frostlass, Bear Tick, Drapion, Mach Champ and i think vaporeon uh I'm not sure if i said that but um his team get did get pretty messed up by my rocks and um also conkeld there once he got his toxic off i was surprised because i am guts so that just boosted all of my attacks and conkeld was able to go on a tear even though i gave up um gengar and corviknight um I was able to pull through. Corviknight didn't really do much. I'm surprised he didn't bring the Duck Trio to trap anything. Who else? Um, or his Torkoal. So I definitely prepped for his whole team. He brought some things nice. Okay, so he goes up closer. <clears throat> I'm expecting him to Shell Smash at the start. Um, so I'm just gonna go for the Stone Edge. Let's hope I don't miss. Or I can even go for my Glare. I could glare here and snow that's the next turn. So let's let's do that. Seneconda is faster. Let's see what happens. So he shell smashes off the start. So I do know that Paralyze does half your speed. <clears throat> so even being um, at half speed. Okay, so he, he does have the white herb. Not sure if Stone Edge is going to kill, but that's all right. I'm just going to set up my Stealth Rocks here. Because that's the main reason why I have this Anaconda. Not so much for attacking purposes. You know, I did get the... Okay, so he goes for two so Shell Smashes. Oh man, that might be a problem. So now he's at plus four. Should have definitely gone for the Stone Edge. Um, even Paralyzed, plus two... And that was a that was a really good play on his part. Let's see if he gets paralyzed. Okay, so you get he breaks through to paralyze. He goes for Icicle Spear. Um, pretty sure this is gonna KO either way. Sandstorm. Yeah, that only does, goes for the first one though. Yeah, he does get three. All right, that's fine. Um, not sure if I should go out to Arcanine or Galvantula. Definitely Galvantula. I'm going to set off a Discharge. That was another reason why I have um, Galvantula choice. Uh, Galvantula, what does he have? Focus Sash. <laughs> so yeah, I could definitely get off of webs. But he already has this thing in. Okay, so Paralyze coming in clutch. But that is also bad because... Okay, it KOs. That's fine. I was going to say that's bad because um, my Sash is going to get broken here. But it did Oko. So let me write that down. Cloyster KOs Santa Condo. And then Galvan... To uh, KO's um, Cloyster. So here, another thing that I want to do is just get on my webs. So everything's slow. He doesn't have any hazard removal. So that's just another plus. Galvantulus should still outspeed this. And I get to see what his bear tick wanted to do in this match. I could still knock out the Vaporeon with my... Uh, my Conkeld there. So I do get off my webs. And he goes for Max Hailstorm. Maybe I should have gone for the Paralyze. I'm kind of nervous about him sweeping here. But I might go out to... Arcanine 
Arcanine, and then just Dynamax, Dynamax Max Flare. Since he did use his Dynamax, I don't expect him to want to just end it. My Intimidate is going to drop his attack. Yeah, I'm just going to Dynamax Max Flare. Should do a, a lot of damage. I'm not sure if he has an answer for Arcanine. I could have even, um, I could have even just went for a Flare Blitz since I do have a lot of defense. So maybe this is a misplay since his, his attack was down one. I could have just Morning Sunned him. Oh man. But let's see what happens. Yeah, so he did have the max rock fall. I should eat this up though. Ooh, doing a lot of damage. So I'm gonna set up the sun. Oh, he's life orb. Wow, that KO'd. I'm surprised. Maybe Flare Blitz would have KO'd also. Um, I'm not sure how he stops this now. Oh, I forgot to record. Bear Tick. KO's Galvan to uh, then Arcanine. KO's Bear Tick. So here, yeah, he goes out to Vaporeon. Um, I'm just gonna go for first. I'll go for the Max Flare, and then on the turn after, I'll go for Max Mindstorm. See if he protects. I wanted to see how much this did in the sun. So about 30. He toxics his me. Ooh, good play. I wonder if he um I wonder if he protects this turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the max mindstorm. Kind of selling my um my trump card against Mach Champ. Oh, and you know what? Okay, so he did he did take that way better than the um, Max Flare. Let's see. So he goes for Skull. It shouldn't do that much damage. Yeah, uh, a little bit. I'm gonna go for the Morning Sun. In the sunlight, that should heal me up to max. And then he goes for Skull. Toxic damage. Um, let's see what might happen after that. I switch out to Gengar. I'm gonna go yeah I'm gonna morning sun because I'd still need the psychic fangs to eat through um eat through the screens okay so he just goes out to mock champ not sure why here are just psychic fangs Or, I might even want to um, Flare Blitz. Or I could half his attack with a will o -Wisp. Maybe will o -Wisp was the better play. Let's see how, let's see what happens. So Flare Blitz, doing a lot of damage. I think I might get KO'd here though. With the knockoff and the Toxic. Sunlight fades. You know what? And I really, I really did need this. Damn. I'm just gonna go for the psychic fangs. No point in um trying to keep this thing alive. I'm expecting him to switch out anyways. Switch out to Vaporeon. I can't bring this back in with him being toxic. Yeah. So he just lets his mock champ die. Arcanine fails Mark Champ. 
and Arcanine dies to Toxic. The thing is, he could bring in um, Frostlass here. So I'm just gonna go out to Gengar. Has a good matchup against any of um, any person he goes. With the rocks up and sticky webs, should slow it down. Yeah, as he does go out to Kimono Girl. That would break a sash and the sticky web slowing it down. So my Gengar now outspeeds. My thing is, I'm not sure if he will go for the Shadow Ball or the Reflect. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it lives. And Shadow Ball just KOing that Frost Lass. Pretty sure he's the last one now is Vaporeon. Oh, he still has Drapion. Drapion probably has knockoff. It is Swords Dance also. Um I wanna go for the Focus Blast, but man, he kinda counters me. I might wanna go. I'll go out to Corviknight, stall it. Go out to Corviknight, iron defense a bit. Body press. Okay, so he does go for knockoff. Yeah, they don't want to stay in on that. Um. Yeah, there's not much he can do with just Vaporeon and Drapion here, especially since I have out Corviknight. Could have went out to Conkel there. But on the knockoff, I just didn't see that as a good idea. So I'll just iron defense twice and then start body pressing and roosting. So yeah, he does go up to plus two. Pretty sure at even plus six, my Corviknight will just be eating anything. just see real quick yeah I could body press again I mean I could iron defense again it goes for the knockoff next turn I could roost since I do know he's faster than me even if he switches out um, okay so he just goes for another knockoff yeah not doing any damage I have the roost now, so Corviknight kind of just sits here. Um, go for the body press. See how much damage it does. I wish I was max defense. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure his Drapion doesn't have. Oh my god, that KO the Drapion. I am so surprised. I'm surprised even after Webs, Drapion was faster than Corviknight. Let's see. So Corviknight picking up the last two KOs on Vaporeon and Drapion, and that would be a GG to Sunny. Um, Yeah, sorry, I, I, I'm actually pretty busy. Been waiting for this battle for a very long time. I actually have my next battle tomorrow. But GG Sunny, um, link will be in the description for his channel. He will be uploading his side of the battle also, and you get to figure out what was going through his head, like how you figured out what was going through mine. But um, yeah, this will leave me with three and three. Going into week seven, I battle Sammy. And um, we'll see what happens in the next video.